Hey everybody, it's me, Sherman. I'm back. I, I've been away for a while. I've been busy single-handedly toppling the Transformers movie franchise. You can thank me later, but it was all me. I'm the reason they're not making any more movies because I, I really worked hard on it. Today, though, we're not talking about the Transformers movies. They can burn in hell for all I care. That's it's it. It's over. It's done. So, today is a very special day. McDonald's brought back the Szechuan sauce. I went in October, tried to get it. I'm a big Rick and Morty fan. It's because Rick and Morty is such a great show because you have to have this really high intellect to understand all the jokes. So, obviously, naturally, I love it. So, I went in October, tried to buy the Szechuan sauce. They didn't have any, and I, I rioted. I protested, and since that day in October, since that day, I have not let up my anger and my frustration at McDonald's. And I protested in five states across the United States. And I even went to McDonald's headquarters and I, I, I laid in front of bulldozers. I don't even know if the bulldozers were related to the incident, but I laid in front of bulldozers. Regardless, today they brought back Szechuan sauce. So we're going to try it. But I am so tainted by hatred for the McDonald's Corporation, I will not be objective in trying this Szechuan sauce. So, I'm gonna have to get Cletus to do it because he's a fast food guy or whatever. Branding, I don't know. Also, I would just can the Szechuan sauce just on the mere fact that it took them this long to get it out and to fix their problems. I would just fail it. I actually, I'd dump it down the, down, the, down the garbage disposal. So, I'm gonna give it to Cletus because I know people want an actual review. I don't know why. We're gonna give it to Cletus. So, that's what we're doing today. Now the funny thing is, Cletus has no idea that McDonald's exists. And I find it absolutely hilarious that the fast food critic has no idea about the, about the titan of the fast food industry, McDonald's. So I'm just gonna keep it that way. He, he doesn't have to know McDonald's exists to try this because I like to screw with him. So what we're gonna do, is we've got these chicken tenders. We're gonna take them out of the McDonald's box. We're gonna put them on this plate so we get rid of the branding so he doesn't ask what this place is. I just like, I like to mess with him. And here it is, the Szechuan sauce. Thank freaking goodness that it exists because I, I fought, I fought real hard. So we're gonna open it. I can't do it because I'm holding the camera. We're gonna open it, take the label off of it, so he has no idea that it's even remotely related to McDonald's. And we're just going to get his opinion on it. He has no idea. He's going to not know what this is. He's just going to know it's chicken tenders with a dipping sauce. And we'll see what he says about it. Okay, Clayton, I'm ready for you. <sighs> Ooh, that smells good. Where did you say this is from again? Don't worry about where it's from. I want your objective opinion on the chicken tenders, but more importantly, the sauce. The sauce is the big ticket item here. All right, all right. Quit your hollering. I'll be objective. We've got four beautiful breaded chicken tenders and the sauce, which I'm told is the big ticket item here. It is a brownish color. It's got some, some specks mixed in throughout it. And it, it has a very asian -y zing to it. It's quite interesting. So let's taste the chicken first and then we'll try the sauce so I can give my objective opinion on it. Oh my! Mm. Mm. That, that is a good chicken tender, let me tell you. It's got a lot of flavor. The breading has a zing to it, but not overpowering. It's not like Bojangles or anywhere else where it's got a spice to it. It's got a really mellow flavor with some some black pepper kick to it. The chicken is delightful, absolutely. It's juicy, it's, it's thick, it's a big piece of chicken. This is definitely a quality establishment which created this delicious concoction. 
So let's move on to the sauce. I'm going to dip the chicken into the sauce, and we're going to see what all the fuss is about. Oh, wow! It's very interesting. It is a very Asian sauce. I'm not exactly sure. I can't quite put my finger. It's got a sweet and sour vibe to it. It starts out, but then it's got a kick at the end. It's really, really good. It's not a very thick sauce. It's a little thin, but a, a little bit goes a long way. I didn't get a whole lot on the chicken, but there is an explosion of flavor in my mouth. And I will tell you, ooh, that is whole down tasty. And I, I didn't expect it to work because Asian and chicken just doesn't seem to overlap, but oh boy, is that something to write home about. Oh, I'm gonna go in for a second dip. Oh, oh, that is very good, very, very good. I can't believe it, I can't believe it, because it, it, it shouldn't, it shouldn't work, but it does, and, and holy cow, this is a quality, quality item. Sherman, I overheard him say something about protests and people losing their minds, and I understand why, because this sauce is the bomb. So if I'm gonna give this meal a score, I'm gonna have to do it separately, because Sherman's asked me to. The chicken tenders, I'm gonna give a 4.8 out of 6, because they are good. They're very good chicken tenders, not the best chicken tenders I've ever had, but they're definitely very good. And I'm gonna have to give that sauce a 6 out of 6. You know, I, I heard Sherman say that there's a lot of hype surrounding this. I have no idea what it's all about, but I can objectively tell you that that sauce is delicious on the fact that it's, it's very tasty, but on its own merits, it shouldn't work. And I keep saying that because my tongue and my brain are having this conversation. They're saying this is delicious. And my brain's saying, well, no, it's an Asian sauce. It shouldn't make sense on fried chicken. But the truth of the matter is that sauce is incredibly tasty. And I'm going to give it the first ever six out of six. And that is no lie, no fabrication. You can trust me because I have no idea what all this hype phenomenon, whatever Sherman's talking about, I don't know. I'm just the fast food guy and I think that's delicious. Anyway, I'm going to keep eating my meal. Thank you very much for watching. I'm sure he's told you where you can get this and what it's called and I'd absolutely recommend it. Goodbye.